So right now I'm actually going to show you my mom's garden. It's been like a month since we finished building it, so she's planted a lot. I think it's a month. We'll see. But I'll show you what she has now, and also our trees have developed a lot of fruit. This is the cherry tree. We were, cherry tree. We already ate a lot of it. Same with the squirrel, ate a lot of it. But I'll should pretty much show you my mom's garden again. Here's the cherry tree that was right behind me. You can see, kind of make it out up there, all the cherries. I mean, it was packed with it, but the combination of my siblings and that fat squirrel that comes all the time, it's starting to disappear. I mean, it got so heavy, the branch, the branch broke. You can make out those cherries. And then these ones are also, or the fig, are getting quite big. And they're starting to get figs. That's another fig tree. And then the apple tree, the last time you saw it, it had no leaves at all. And now it's covered in leaves and has a bunch of apples coming. I just gotta do some trimming though. It's gonna grow straight through my greenhouse. Oh, there's the apple tree. And then over here is my mom's garden. So you can see it is quite different from before. Before you saw there was nothing here, but now we got a ton of stuff. So she planted quite a few things. We got tomatoes, lettuce, spinach, arugula. Here is the asparagus grow bed. So it is doing actually well. And this like asparagus takes like two years before you actually want to harvest it because you let it grow and then cut it then let it grow and cut it so that might be what my mom's doing right now but you can see that can be pumpkin squash or one of the sort I still have to do the plumbing though for this and for my washing machine there we got a lot of tomatoes as well some lettuce so I was gonna move this I mean cut it over here and put it like right here but the person who looked at it said it's gonna be could be more of an issue if we cut the pipe might be hard to seal it since it's so old it's like 40 years old or something Yeah, Brussels sprouts. Oh, that's a, almost looks like a giant dandelion. Unless that's a weed. I don't know. More tomato plants. And over here, we got a lot of bok choy. Most the green and the purple. And then that is the sorrel that the chickens will be able to eat when we once we remove that wire which is over there same with that wheat grass over here so the idea is that I don't know if you can make it out on the camera there's this chicken wire going along the fence over here so when this is all grown nicely we remove that and let the chickens just stick their heads through and eat that and then it grows back this stuff grows very nice quickly back you can cut it down to the bottom and use it for lettuce and then it will grow back and that's wheatgrass which we also have growing in those two fences over there duck is already trying to take some just to give them some extra greens because you can kind of make it out but they uh don't leave anything they've been e eating all the leaves from this tree this tree has a fungus though so which is unfortunate here you can see we have the wheatgrass on this side and then we just go down here, we have some sorrel mixed with wheatgrass. And basically this fence or this wire in here is what's preventing the chickens from getting that. And the idea is that we move this and the chickens will be able to eat that. So that's what we're going to do right now.
also have an asparagus growing here, which we missed. This is supposed to be over there. Must have been quite deep as we went all the way down here, so. But that's pretty much the garden, what we have so far. All these things are still growing more, but it's a big difference from the last video that you saw. That's a big improvement. We also have some other trees that are getting fruit as well, a mulberry tree in our front yard. Well, that is all for this video. I was just showing you my mom's garden, how it is now. So I'll do an update later on as well when everything is starting to produce fruits and when it's developing more. But now that's how it is after like a month, I think two months. We'll see what I when I look it up in the other video. But that is pretty much my mom's garden. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.